<coughs> so today uh what we're going to do is we are going to clean egr valve and uh, egr pipe and then uh, we are going to clean this intake uh, manifold and then there is underneath down there we have uh, a throttle body that we are going to clean so basically this is a carbon clean today so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can do it yourself because uh, i'm not professional i'm doing first time so i believe if i can do it so you can do it but what you have to to have is the right tools so i have set up all my tools down here as you can see so i may not be using all of them but uh, i don't want to waste the time so i set these all up so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove this uh, front cover remove this cover engine cover you just need to give a pull from this side first and this side and this side So now I'm going to uh, unscrew this screw here and uh, I'm going to just disconnect this hose from uh, this intake body and uh, I'm going to unscrew this screw uh, down there and uh, these clips I'm going to take this off and uh, yeah so right so let's just unscrew this and uh, there is a clip down there we need to take that off and uh, this clip and this hose pipe yeah it came out so there you go so that came out uh, like that as you can see I'm gonna take the air filter out what we have to do is we have to unscrew this bolt this bolt uh, this bolt this and this bolt so after that this entire thing will came out so let's do this check they all are the same size yes they all are the same size so i'm gonna unscrew this one
All right, so now we have that I believe loose. Yeah, it is willing to come out. What we have to do is there are, there's one clip down there, one clip there, one clip there is, uh, is securing the hose. We're gonna take the hose out from these clips. So it will make our job a lot easier to lift this up. Now it is loose. So what we can do is we can uh, yeah, leave that on there and just try to give it a gentle pull to pull this out. Yeah, so that came out. To take the pipe off, there is a 10 mil bolt right down there. You can't see it, but I can see it. So I'm gonna use this wrench so to unscrew this bolt. So there you go. This is a tight space here. You know my fingers can't put my finger in there. There you go. It came out. It was a bit hard, to be honest, to take that off. What I'm gonna do is because uh, I'm not getting any space, so I'm gonna unscrew uh, uh, the top bolt, which is uh, a support bolt for this harness. So I'm gonna remove this one so I can have more access uh to this bolt yet so let's move so make sure you don't drop that down so now it's loose I can have access no I'm gonna use this wrench again to unscrew this side so now I'm going to remove these two screws uh, I'm going to use my drill now. So I have removed my EGR pipe. You can see it's badly cocked, as you can see. But I can show you the grease there and there. And uh, if you have a look to this EGR valve, you can see it's very badly cocked. 
Uh, so there is a gasket. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put it down there safely. So you can see that it's very badly cocked. I'm gonna clean that out. I'm gonna give a good clean to, to this and I'm gonna clean this EGR pipe and we are going to clean then uh the other stuff as well so it's very very badly cocked you can see i'm gonna leave it down there and uh, now now we're going to remove this egr valve so i'm gonna need a screwdriver for this so egr valve out as you can see There's a magnet. So now I plan to remove the injector cleaner and uh, give it a clean and put this injector injector back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew. Uh, there is one bolt there, and uh, there's one bolt there. So uh, and I'm gonna rem remove this bolt and this bolt to free this harness, uh, and then i'm going to remove this harness as well uh there's a clip down there and uh to give it give me like a good space to pull this uh, um, uh, fuel uh, injectors out so as you can see that the fuel injectors are there one two three and four i'm going to take these all four injectors out first i'm removing this top bolts out leave this one down there yeah that's free now all right guys so I have uh, take these uh, switches out from the injectors so four of them you can see now I have uh, good access to these bolts that I'm gonna unscrew I think they are 12 mil so I'm gonna remove these ones I'm gonna take the uh, uh, injectors out and I'm gonna clean them up and I'm gonna put them back I'm not gonna go with the drill, so I'm gonna use the wrench head. To lose this up. Carefully, I'm going to take the screw out. So now, I think I set it free. Yep. As you can see, I'm going to take my injector out, so as you can see how dirty it is. So 
uh, and leave aside. I'm going to take another one out. Another one out. And uh, the last one is a bit tight. Look at that. I'm going to show you how bad the injectors are. As you can see, they are dirty. So I'm going to clean these injectors and uh, I'm going to put these injectors back. Today, I'm not going to clean them from the inside because I don't have the tool to clean from inside, but I'm going to uh, give a clean from the outside so they can uh, be a little bit better but uh, in the next video uh, i'm going to remove them off again and i'm going to clean them once i have the tool uh, and i'm going to clean them from the inside as well as you can see it's come out it's very dirty from there you know the cop EGR pipe as you can see it was dark it was cocked and now it is pretty much clean as you can see so our EGR pipe is cleaned our EGR valve is clean I'm gonna put these things back uh, not the pipe but the EGR valve itself so I have put the EGR valve back. I've tightened up the screws. So it's secure now. So now I'm back to my injectors. I'm gonna see, it's been a half an hour. I'm gonna see what is the situation now. I'm gonna wipe these up. I've got the brush, I'm gonna clean from the top. I'm here with the brush. Now I'm going to put these injectors back into their positions and I'm going to put the screws back.
So you've got two. It's two bolts. So we're gonna screw these two bolts. Ratchet. So we put back now our uh, EGR valve and uh, we clean the injectors, we put the injectors back now. We are going to make the connection. The first one is this. The second one is this. The third one is this. And then the last. So now we are going to remove our throttle body and uh, then we are going to remove the uh, intake manifold and uh, clean both of them and then we're going to put it put them back together so let's get started so first i'm going so i've removed my hose uh, from the throttle body the the uh, the bolt and the nuts to nuts two bolts and uh, i'm going to remove this sensor as well and uh, these two hose pipes and uh, this pipe so this total body will come out yeah so let's get started how bad it is uh, we are going to clean this one we're going to block this pipe with this tube I have removed the top hose but uh, this one is very difficult to take it out I'm gonna take the uh, throttle body out and gonna remove the hose so hopefully that should come out now give it a pull So I've removed the throttle body out, you can see how bad it is, it's very bad and if I can show you from the inside, you can see the oil in there. To take the intake manifold out, we need to take few hose pipes out, one this one and uh, one that one and uh, we need to free these harness 
and uh, this there is a uh, uh, 12 mil uh, nut sorry bolt uh, we got one bolt we got one nut we got one bolt we got one nut and one bolt I'm gonna start with this one I'm gonna push this one aside I have removed the hose pipe from there the connector from there and the hose pipe from there and uh, now we are going to remove this one So this one came out so now yeah that is free you're gonna take this intake out so we start with the So now we have unscrew all the bolts uh, and this and the nuts from there. It should come out pretty easily because it is not connected to anything now. So as you can see it is dripping out the the oil that was in there I think it shouldn't be in there the oil The intake seals are flat or they how they supposed to be seals looks all right so we're going to clean this one <clears throat> now I'm going to show you the inside if you can see how dirty it is it's getting cocked this lot of carb is just getting stronger staying there getting stronger we're gonna clean this one as well and then we're gonna put everything back together so let's do this so to clean this up i'm gonna remove uh, this gasket out of it i'm gonna leave this aside and now i'm gonna use the cloth first to clean this one no this one i'm gonna so I'm going to use this cloth.
as you can see how to teach is this one is getting cocked and this one and this pipe was literally dripping the oil I'm gonna take this pipe off as well you're gonna give a clean to this pipe as well it's gonna go like this Just first clean this. So I've cleaned these in uh, engine intakes uh, so now they look pretty clean uh, as comparing to before to put uh, this uh, intake uh, manifold inside the engine so I'm gonna put this one down like that and there are two studs one there one there Yeah, one there, one there. 
the gasket is coming out. Is it how it's supposed to be? Yeah, I think so, yeah. these up with the wrench it put these hose pipes back So now I'm going to how many pipes we got left? One and two. And one connector. So I'm gonna put the throttle body back and they're going to make connection. Yep, yeah, let's do this one. So I've got the throttle body, I'm going to put this body back, so there are two studs. Yeah, it's going to sit like this. So now I'm going to connect this hose pipe right back.
Then I'm going to remove the clamp. is more connected to go so that's all connected before installing our uh, EGR pipe I'm going to uh, finish up with this uh, from the top So I have installed the pipe, uh, EGR pipe, I've tightened up the screw, so I'm going to put this one back, I'm going to put the one screw on there as well, it's a bit hard. So that bolt is back and pipe is connected fully now. Now let's uh, move to the throttle hose and uh, the uh, air filter uh, tank thank you i have installed the throttle hose uh, and now i'm going to install this body the air filter body so
air filter So guys, <coughs> I have uh, installed everything back. Now the last thing is left is to put the engine cover. <coughs> 